Welcome back to my home. All week we've been talking about ways that we hear from God. And today I want to talk about how God will use people to speak into our hearts and into our lives. All throughout scripture you see this happening where the prophets would speak and God would give the, the kings or whoever it may be a word. But can I tell you that God will use people in your life to speak into your life and into your heart. Maybe a pastor or a trusted friend or, or a podcast that you listen to. Whatever, God's going to use those things to speak to you. Not too long ago, I got a text from a dear friend of mine who I hadn't seen in years. And in fact, her name is Courtney. She grew up in the church and her husband had had a severe stroke. And we began to pray for him. And as I was praying for him, God spoke a word to my heart to tell Courtney not to worry, that God had him. And that it was like while he was unconscious, God, he was laying in a greenhouse with a bright light shining down on him. And God was healing him and growing him in this process. And I thought, she's going to think I'm crazy. What's this with a greenhouse? And anyway, I spoke the word. I just sent it to her in a text and said, Courtney, here's what I feel like God spoke to me. And a little while later, on down the line, as Joshua would come out of the coma, he was talking to her and he kept saying this phrase over and over again in Spanish. And she's like, Joshua, what's this phrase? And he's like, I don't know. But while I was unconscious, I had someone come to me and speak over me. And it was like an older gentleman. And he told me not to worry, or he kept saying this phrase over me. But when he looked up the phrase, him and Courtney, the phrase literally meant do not worry. And he said, and I was surrounded by plants. Now, only God could do that. To speak to my heart, it was like he was laying in a greenhouse with a bright light shining down and telling them not to worry. And then God was speaking the same thing over Joshua at the same time I'm speaking it over Courtney. God will use people to speak into your heart and your lives. I challenge you this week to listen. Listen for the voice of the Spirit through other people. Also, I want you to be willing to be that voice of the Spirit for someone else. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.